In the double and single replacement reactions, you're going to mix a series of solutions that you're given, and you're going to see whether or not you get a reaction, and if you do get a reaction, you are going to record what happened, and you are going to record the reaction. So if you look at your report sheet, you will see that you have a table where you have to write evidence of reaction and then you have to write the balanced equation. So we're going to walk through how to write one of the balanced equations and then I will let you do the rest on your own. So for example, if we get something like AB plus CD, what happens is that these ions essentially swap partners. So A goes with D and B goes with C. So let's take a look at an example of one of these. So one of your reactions that you're going to do is you're going to react copper sulfate plus ammonium chloride. So what's going to happen is again we're going to swap partners. Copper is going to go with the chloride and the ammonium is going to go with the sulfate. Now don't just copy the ions over. We have to think about the charges. So sulfate, if you think back to your polyatomic ions, has a two negative charge on it, which means that copper has to have a two positive charge. If you look at your polyatomic ions, ammonia has a positive charge and chlorine has a negative charge. So when I put the ammonia and the sulfate together, I have NH4SO4. But ammonia has a positive charge and sulfate has a two negative. So I actually need two ammonias to go with the two negative on the sulfate. And then for the copper chloride, I have CuCl, but I also have to realize that copper has a two positive charge and chlorine has a negative charge, which means I need two chlorines to balance that two positive on the copper. Now what I have to do is balance my equation. So if I look at this, I have one copper and one sulfate on each side, so that's fine. But I have one ammonia and one chlorine on the reactant side, and two ammonias and two chlorines on the product side. So if I put a 2 here, that will balance this equation because I will now have two ammonias and two chlorines. So this is an example of what you will need to do. If you see a reaction, you will need to write what the evidence of the reaction is, and then you will need to write your balanced equation. So you will need to write that with the correct formulas, and you will need to balance it. So make sure that you've read through your letter of handout thoroughly, and that you have submitted your purpose and procedure in Canvas before lab. So I will see you in lab.